In this video, I'll show you the best way to cook a tri-tip and that's reverse searing. I'll teach you how to do it in your oven or on a Traeger or a pellet smoker and pair it with onions and poblano peppers. It makes the perfect tri-tip California burritos, nachos, or tri-tip tacos. Diving in, this recipe uses a marinated Santa Maria tri-tip from Trader Joe's, but I'll link to some ideas for using your own marinade at home. I highly recommend using a constant read food thermometer like the meter or a probe on your Traeger just because you need a little bit of precision with a reverse sear. In an oven, 250 degrees for about an hour will get you to 115 to 120 degrees internally. and That'll be about medium rare. 125 to 130 will be medium. Remember, we'll be searing this in a pan afterwards, so we'll pick up a little bit more heat. On a Traeger grill, 225 for about an hour and a half will get you there. In the last few minutes of your cook, you can do a little veggie prep. Cut two poblano peppers into thin two inch strips and then do the same with an onion, matching those peppers and then add them to a bowl and set that aside. Once your tri-tip has reached that 115 to 125 internal temperature range, you can pull it out of the oven or off the smoker and heat a large skillet or griddle over medium high to high heat. You want a really hot pan before you add about a tablespoon of beef tallow oil, something like that. And then we'll add the tri-tip straight to the pan, pressing down to create as much contact with the pan as possible and sear all sides for about 30 to 60 seconds. Any part of this meat you can get a sear on, go for it. You don't have to worry about adding too much internal temperature or overcooking here. So we'll transfer that to a board to rest for 10 to 15 minutes. And while it rests, We'll cook our veggies down, add them straight to the pan with all the, that rendered fat and any remaining beef tallow or oil. Give them a toss and then we'll add about a tablespoon of soy sauce, the unpronounceable Worcestershire sauce or vinegar, something to give some umami notes. And then we'll cook those for maybe four to five minutes until the onions are just starting to turn translucent, picking up some color around the edges. And then we'll transfer those to a bowl and set them aside. Once your tri-tip has rested for 10 to 15 minutes, and be sure you're not skipping the resting phase. Otherwise, all these juices will just spill out all over your board, and what a waste. Once it's rested, you're safe to thinly slice this. Be sure you're slicing against the grain. If you're unsure what that means, the grain or muscle fibers run two different directions on a tri-tip, so it can be a little tricky. I'll link to some resources in the description below if you're unsure on how to carve a tri-tip. We'll thinly slice this and then we'll cut it into thin strips that kind of match about the size of our onions and peppers. And you have two options. You can either mix everything together and serve it right away, just like this and tacos, burritos, whatever you want. Or you can heat that same skillet up with a little bit more beef tallow or oil and sear this off one last time. If you're gonna sear this, you'll probably only cook on the medium rare side. So that 110 to 115 range, as opposed to the 125, just so you're not totally overcooking this. I got this idea from Chef Tom at ATBBQ and his tri-tip tacos. To be honest, he's using a flat top griddle in a pan. I don't think I have enough space here. You could do it in batches, but I think I'd probably just serve these straight away. Speaking of serving, the first thing that came to mind for this was a California burrito. Santa Maria tri-tip, why not go all the way California with some french fries. I smoked some charro beans right on the Traeger beside the tri-tip. I'll throw my recipe for that in the description below. And we've got our beef, onion, peppers, guac, a little bit of grated pepper jack cheese. I am no burrito connoisseur of any kind. I don't pretend to be. So feel free to rip my California burrito ingredient selection or rolling skills to shreds here. I won't be offended, maybe a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, we'll do an okay job here. Now you could, I, I just warmed these tortillas on a griddle before I assembled, but you could cut straight into them or crank the temperature up on your grill, throw these back on the grill for maybe five minutes. You could also do this in a pan. I feel like it's really hard to mess up a burrito. Although maybe I've done it here, we'll see. I think this one has slightly different fillings and maybe sour cream pickled onions, which may be a crazy filling, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> now in Chef Tom's tri-tip tacos recipe I mentioned earlier, he had a great idea of throwing some cheese in between tortillas and grilling those right on the flat top. I believe he garnished with maybe a slice of avocado, some cilantro, diced onion, lime wedges maybe. I think on mine I went with diced avocado, a little bit of queso fresco or cotija cheese, and salsa matcha. And as a final idea for leftovers, throw some on top of chips and cheese in an air fryer for about five minutes and you will be happy. 
It's one of the worst food YouTubers out there. You can always count on me to do a terrible outro and kind of a bad intro usually too, but we're working on it. So if you made it this far, I just wanted to say I appreciate it. Liking and subscribing seems to be a popular recommendation from other YouTubers that seems to help to be determined if it helps me. Either way, I appreciate it. If you have any questions about this recipe, throw it in the comments down below. And just a reminder, I'll throw a link to the full recipe, any recipes I mentioned, and any other helpful resources down in the description below. Thanks for watching.